Hey y'all, what's going on? My name is Ryman15 and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. It has been a while since I played the game, so I have to kind of remember the controls and where we are. But if I remember correctly from the last video, we did the Eden Club was the last part. So we're starting off with Kara and Luther and Alice. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sneezing today. Made my throat weird. Uh, distance. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. That's pretty good. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Seen snow before? It's pretty. It's slowing us down. Well, yeah, but. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Yeah. It's a good thing to go out of I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Probably not. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. No. Stay inside of us. Yeah. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Uh, we'll see about that. Maybe there is. of the gods. <clears throat> we need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. You are here. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Well, Welcome well, 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 well. to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Hmm. That's cool.
<laughs> this place is falling apart. Yeah. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. And? This looks sheltery. Oh, this should work. I got it. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. I'll handle this. Um, excuse you. I don't need no big and to Actually, you know what? You do you, Luther. You're you're big and strong. You 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 yeah, yeah. You you good. Oh shit. Here we go. Iowa missing. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, none. Is there a gun in here? Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She 
she dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was a the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. Who is also who was just lost. As lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To escape the shadow that haunted the house, they encountered great dangers along the way, but they're together. But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met a gentle giant who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Hmm. I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, loser? Mm hmm. Yes. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. Hmm. first was to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have mm. you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Oh. Kara! Oh, why are you just punching? Protect Alice. And wait, what's that? Put out fire. I'm gonna protect Alice. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. Of <coughs> we don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jared. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Yeah, you really don't when the little girl just starts pulling you around.
Be our guest. Be your guest. Be your guest. This has this is copyrighted text. I mean, that worked out the way it should have. Uh, there's still something I missed at the fun fair. And at the beginning, but it's fine. with my boy Connor and Hank. Lieutenant Anderson, I need your assistance. My name is Connor. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. For what? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Is it just you? Yeah, it's just me. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Pulling away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Maybe not, but... From a certain viewpoint, it could be understandable. We're not making any progress on this investigation. <laughs> the Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth something they invented it wasn't part of their original program androids believing in god yeah fuck what's this world coming to 
You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Yeah. They really seemed in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. <laughs> what about you, Connor? Uh oh. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. <coughs> That's all. Yeah, a gun. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Yeah, if I is not the thing I want to do. Uh. I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test for oh. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Hmm. <laughs> All right, moving on. Marcus. I can see the wheels in your head turning. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing mm -hmm. ourselves put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Uh oh, big plan. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Move on. That's pretty cool. Got a smartwatch. This 
Elizabeth Wilson. Kid. Parking badge. Water service. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. I'll do the parking. Good morning, Ms. Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yeet. I need your help. Yeah, because no one saw that. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Walk forward. <coughs> Good. Slowly dying, but it's okay. To the bathroom, yeah. <coughs> oh. I'm on the this. <coughs> Completely normal. There's an android in here. Yep. I was just changing some stuff out, lads. Don't worry about it. So paper towels, yeah, there's there's some new ones right there. There you go. There he is. My friending, I need you. I require your assistance, my friending. Oh my friending. Oh, 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 oh. I need your I pushed cart. <laughs> we. <laughs> it's like pushing Carl around.
Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Yo. What does this little dude do? Just weird. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay. <coughs> Let's do it. Laser saw go all the way around. If it's not a perfect circle, I'm going to be upset. Oh, it's a perfect circle. Oh, baby, it's a perfect circle. Yes. goes well. This is a big building. How this goes. Well, I did it, but okay. And just do this. And then all the way around. Grab the team. Let's do this. Ugh. 
cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. We'll do a ruse. I don't want to kill anyone. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you have to. What are you doing? Hey, put your hands in the air. Get over there. Marcus has been playing Arkham City as well. <laughs> or any of the Arkham games, but you know. Why am I just watching him? Ring it. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. All right, everybody on point. Yeah, let's go. Get over there. <coughs> shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't shoot. No, I'm gonna spare him. I don't, I don't want to shoot him. Look, I'd rather do it the right way. We haven't got much time. All right. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Right. Do it. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Amen, Marcus. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Uh, segregation. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. Uh, I'll say. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Means of reproduction. We demand control of all android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We're peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! <laughs> Dang. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Oh no, I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing Simon. What are you doing? Hurry! Hurry I tried! I tried! Well, Simon! There was nothing you could do. If we don't go now, they'll get us too! Need to run. Is 
Yo. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody hmm. was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. Is an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Well, that went better than I thought it would. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, I feel bad I, I got Simon killed. But, I hope you all did enjoy this video. I It is different to return to this game after so long. But I hope you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe if you please, and I'll see you in the next one. Tryman15, signing out.